log off, shut down, and get outside today at Forest Run Metro Parks Timberman Ridge area. Hi there, and welcome to Forest Run's Metro Parks Timberman Ridge area. My name is Becky Vanderpool, and I'm the Senior Manager of Park Connections with Metro Parks of Butler County. I'm happy you're joining us today. And I'm Lynn White. I'm the Education and Volunteer Specialist for Butler Soil and Water Conservation District. We brought you to this pond today. Now I'll let Becky tell you a bit more about the pond. <laughs> well, the pond here at Timberman Ridge is called the Songbird Pond. And we're here today to see what, the, what kind of things we can find living in and around the pond um, as part of our Creeping in the Park series. So we used a long handled net when we're in there today, but you can use one of the small aquarium nets as well. Just be really careful if you're right down next to the edge of the pond that you don't slide in uh, because the mud can be kind of slidey. And I almost went in a few minutes ago. Yep, no, nope. we wanted you to be able to observe the pond today from the banks, not from inside of it. <laughs> Look for frogs around the pond, like this one that we saw today. So when we scooped into the pond, we managed to capture several different kinds of beetles. And this guy here is one of the biggest ones that we found. Now, we'll make sure that we provide you with a PDF that is an ID sheet so you can try and identify the different creatures that you find. Now, the beetle that is over in this corner is actually having a snack just now. He's eating one of the other beetles. And I don't know if you can see when he's like swimming around there, the other beetle is underneath. So he uses a piercer to pierce into the other beetle's body to kind of slurp his insides out like a milkshake. My favorite creature to find in a pond is this. This is called a water scorpion. Now, don't worry, it's not going to try and pierce you with its tail. Its tail, this bit sticking out here, is actually two tubes that join together and it sticks up to the surface. You might see its tail is just breaking the surface there. It's so it can breathe. So its tail acts like a big snorkel. So I'm gonna pick him up so you can see that he's not an animal to be scared of. They look a lot like the um, walking stick bugs, but he is an insect and insects have got six legs. So he's got one, two, three, four. Then these two things sticking out the front are number five and number six. But this is a water scorpion. It's a great animal to find. He's cool. Oops. Nope. Um, Okay, so we're going to release these animals back into their home again. If you do keep them in a container for a while, only keep them in there for a few minutes so that they don't run low in oxygen. And remember, you must always release them because this is their home. So we've left the Songbird Pond and come up the hill and around the trail to the Locust Grove Pond to see what we can find here as well. So if you look across the pond, you can see animals like dragonflies and damselflies flying around across the surface. And if you listen carefully, you might hear animals like frogs. And we managed to catch some bullfrog tadpoles. So let us show you those. So the two huge tadpoles that we have in the corner here are bullfrog tadpoles. And they can take two or three years until they reach their adult form going through metamorphosis. So sometimes you can find them um, that have got the beginnings of legs and things like that. But yeah, if they're really big tadpoles, then they're most likely going to be bullfrog tadpoles. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us here today at Forest Run's Timberman Ridge area. We hope you enjoyed the things that we found and we hope you'll enjoy your time when you come out to explore on your own as well. And to make sure you can figure out what you're actually finding, um, we will make sure that this is available to you, which shows you the key to life in the pond. And also look up the Ohio Department of Natural Resources website and see if you can find their amphibians of Ohio and their dragonfly and damselflies of Ohio guides. They're really great for figuring out what the life is in ponds. Good pieces. Join us next week as we explore the creek over at Forest Run Wildlife Preserve. Have a good week. See you then.